Welcome to Ion Franchising, where you will learn the A to Z's of franchising. And Rick, you just uh, you just hit on something really important. I wanted to dive into that. Yeah. A lot of people tell me, you can imagine I get a lot of the same comments, questions, stress, anxiety from people because they don't know what they don't know. I always equate everything to working out. I love working out. And I tell people, <laughs> tell people if you've never worked out or you haven't worked out in a long time and you go to do 10 push-ups, you're going to be straining. It's going to hurt. <laughs> oh, it's it's going to hurt. It's just like starting this process. In the beginning, it's going to hurt. There's a lot of stuff you don't know. But a lot of people mention competition. Why? They're scared. You know, I can mention any franchise. Oh, there's so much competition. H how do you know? <laughs> but in your case, you are helping them understand who the competition is. What would you say if you name your first, you know, couple of competitors? What are the major differences? Yeah, absolutely. And, and the major differences are, are actually the reason why I recommend them. So I'll give you an example. Um, and and you is it okay if I share names of some of my competition sure. here as well? So, sure. so, so, so when I have that initial con uh, converse, conversation, pardon me, with an individual, I want to, I want to understand what their background is too, right? If they tell me that they have worked in the IT space for 25 years, and they love working with computers and they love working with the customer directly because when they are able to fix a problem or a frustration, they love the look on their face when they resolve it, <laughs> then guess what? We might not be the best brand for you. Why? Because we're going to do help desk for you. We're going to do, statistically speaking, we're going to do 90% of the IT work we're going to do for you. So you might not get an opportunity to see that smile on the customer's face. But you know what? CMIT, Team Logic IT, Nerds to Go, these are some other IT franchises that are out there that, that don't provide you with a help desk. So guess what? You will be able to do the vast majority of the IT work. And so they might actually be a better option for you. Now, at the end of the day, if you said, I've been in this for 25 years and I've done the technology, but now I'm at the point where I want to work on my business and I want to grow it and I want to work on scaling it and I don't want to be involved in the day-to-day -day IT support. Well, guess what? We might be better than anybody else for you because yep. we're going to handle 90% of those technical issues for you while the other brands won't. So that's a huge competitive differentiator that we have that is right for some people, but not everyone. Yep. I love it. I love it. And, and that, look, it, it speeds up the process for people because at the end of the day, it is possible they are the type of individual that want to do a lot of work themselves. There are people like that. Yeah, Chuck in a truck, staying in the van. <laughs> yeah, exactly. And, and I don't know, you know, I don't know if everybody feels this way or you might think I'm a little crazy, but I don't think anybody's I don't think you should at least sell a franchise. It has to be a good fit. Like you mentioned, I love your analogy of, of it being a, you know, like a, a marriage, right? You're going to be, you're going to be working with these folks, hopefully for a very long period of time, you both should be happy in that marriage. And so, you know, I don't, I don't, I don't want you to start a, a cinch franchise if you want to work on the IT support every single day, you're going to be unhappy. And so I'd rather you be happy somewhere else. And in the long term, that karma will come back to me. <laughs> Thank you very much for listening today. Please like, follow, and subscribe. This is Lance Gralick. Until next time.